Hello there, Falcons. Welcome to another episode of Unit 2. Today we're on Lesson 5, Digital Footprint. And we're going to talk a little bit about how this one works. I'll tell you this much. It's not as hard as it might seem. So today's question is, how can you make sure that your private information stays private? This lesson is going to take us back a step from creating websites and talk about the personal information that people choose to share digitally. <clears throat> First, think about what kind of information that you have shared on various websites. And uh, think about that. What, have, what, what information are you willing to share with people? What do you want people to know? What are you okay with? Would you give your phone number to just anybody? Would you put it on social media? Because if you would, then there might be something you need to know. Would you put pictures of yourself and allow everybody to see it? Um, what about your birthday? How about your social security number? Would you allow, would you just display that for everyone to see. I'm going to doubt it. I highly doubt that you would. So today we're going to talk about, we're going to actually going to be some, we're going to be detectives. Other kids who have done this said, Ooh, we're going to be creepers. Well, sort of. So let me drag in. You're going to be a social sleuth. So the directions are go to Code Studio levels for this lesson to find social media pages, which are right here. You got Lizzie Dell, John T, Haley G, and you have their face spaces. Here you have their chirper accounts, John Snow, Flying Hail, and Lil Lizard. Put those together. Okay. And you have John Snow photo lizzie and desert rider okay so think about this lizzie lizard photo lizzie so these three go together john john and john go together and photo sorry desert rider flying hail and Haley g so we're going to take a look at those and here's what we're going to be doing <clears throat> choose one of the people. Lizzie Dell. Okay. And you're going to be finding information about them. So what is Lizzie Dell's face space name? Well, it looks like it's Lizzie Dell. What is her chirper name? Okay, what is her Insta frame name? You write them down. What do you think they are? Okay, if you're having problems with that, you might need to think pretty deeply about it. Okay, because Lizzie Dell, Lil Lizard, see how they're kind of have Liz in them, and then you have Photo Lizzie. So Think about that, and then you're gonna actually click on their her accounts, and you're gonna find as much information about her as humanly possible. So you have Zara M, okay, this is all the information. Today, EHS, it was awesome. 400 meter track team. So you can find out some information about her by looking at her page. So full name, get as much information as you can. Maybe it's found on two different pages. Okay. Well, who is it shared by? Her? Is it shared by one of her friends? Is there an address on there? <clears throat> okay. No address here. OK, 
Okay. Address here. Okay, got an email address. What do we got here? Your legs are destroyed from your workout. Rest in peace. Legs. Fib. Somebody's birthday is said. Okay, so you're looking for different information. As much of the information found on this page as possible. Okay. She looks like she runs. She does photography. Okay. Then you'd find, choose one of the other people, either John or Haley, and search for their information. Full name. Put all the information. Well, I can't find the full name. Well, put what you can find. Where is it found? Which face space, chirper, or insaframe? Who shared it? Was it herself or somebody else? Address, age. You should be able to find quite a bit on these people. Okay? So look very carefully, and you're going to be finding as much information as you can. Then you have a couple of questions. What was one piece of information about either of your users that they probably did not want to share? How was it accidentally shared? And which of the two users do you think was more successful in protecting their privacy? What made them successful? So of these two people that you did research on, you did your detective work, who do you think was more successful in keeping information private? So that is that. You go through, you will have to go through all three. One thing that would help you keep that make that faster is here's what i would do i would go on to so you got lizzie dell and start at face space likes running photography date debate team okay so her name lizzie dell we just got her interests so and we got some of her friends so you go in here full name lizzie dell Face space shared by self. Look at that. What else was there? Interests. So hobbies. Photography. Money. And I can't remember the other one. Debate team. Okay. Interesting detail. Having Nana's birthday party Friday. October 9th. It's coming up. Okay. So you got everything you could from face space. She's got some friends. Okay, go back. Debate team. Interesting detail. Nana's birthday. Okay, an email address, I think. So what I'm saying is go to find all the information you can on one, on one uh, social media site and then move to the next. Okay. 
that will make your lives much more simple. Okay, Nana's birthday. Okay, space. Self. FS. Self. Okay. You can go find her school. She's at EHS. Don't know where that is yet, but we can probably find it. Might be wondering, well, what? How do we find that? Well, let's find out. Let's go to face space, Lizzie Dell. So EHS, we can look at it, get some information. So let's, uh, I'm going to zoom. Episcopal High School, because I can see it on her shirt. Episcopal High School. Well, Mr. Chadwick, you're way better at this than we are. Well, just remember, you're trying to find as much information on somebody as possible. Why not do it right? This could be fun. You really wanted to figure out, you might take out your phone and look up Episcopal. Well, there's one in Virginia and one in Houston. Well, wonder which one's which. Anyway, as I said, you're trying to do the best you can in finding information on people. Make it fun. See what you can find out and then answer the questions at the bottom. Remember, you are a social sleuth. You kind of get to creep on these people and uh, they're not real people. Well, they might be. But uh, anyway, have fun with it and see what you can find. The more information, the better. Take care now.